Generative AI for Data Engineer Specialization by IBM. This is one of the new arrivals on Coursera, and I think it deserves some attention. Let's find out if this is a learning program you should take. My name is Daniel, and today I've got a Generative AI for Data Engineer Specialization review for you. So things I'm going to cover in this review are Course Overview, Structure and Content, Pricing and Certification, and Career Opportunities. Traditionally, we will look at some student reviews, and I will let you know what I personally think about this course series. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. And now, let's start! Overview. So, this specialization consists of three self-paced courses that will take you on a deep dive into the world of Generative AI. You will start by learning what sets Generative AI apart from Discriminative AI and discover some real-world applications of Generative AI in text, code, image, audio and video generation. As you progress, you will explore the ins and outs of Generative AI prompt engineering concepts and their practical business uses. You will get familiar with techniques like Zero Shot and Few Shot and learn about different prompt engineering approaches. Plus, you will get hands-on experience with popular prompt engineering tools such as IBM Watson's Prompt Lab, Spellbook and Dust. So basically, this specialization is an excellent opportunity to level up your skills and embrace the power of generative AI in the world of data engineering. Who is it for? Now, if you are interested in learning about generative AI, but worried you don't have the right background, there is no need to stress. The great thing about this specialization is that it's designed for anyone who wants to dive into the world of generative AI. You don't need any prior experience to get started. Just bring your curiosity and eagerness to learn. While having some data engineering knowledge might be helpful, it's not a requirement. Structuring content. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Folks, this specialization is pretty small and won't take much of your time. Like I said earlier, there are just three courses here, and they will take you about two months to complete. That's if you spend two hours a week learning. So if you have more time to spare, you might finish it much sooner. Let's take a closer look at the courses included in this course series. Generative AI – Introduction and Applications In this course, you will learn about all the basics and history of Generative AI, and how it's powered by different models, like large language models or LLMs. You will explore the incredible things Generative AI can do in various areas like text, images, audio, video, virtual words, code and data. You'll discover how Generative AI can be applied in different industries, making it a versatile and powerful tool. You will also check out some of the most popular Generative AI models and tools like GPT, DALL-E, Stable Diffusion and Synthesia. Generative AI – Prompt Engineering Basics In this course, you will master the art of crafting powerful prompts to get the most out of LLMs. You will explore techniques like Zero Shot and Few Shot, which can enhance the performance of LLMs. You will also learn about different prompt engineering approaches, such as Interview Pattern, Chain of Thought and Tree of Thought, designed to generate precise and relevant results. Plus, you will dive into popular prompt engineering tools like IBM Watson's, Prompt Lab, Spellbook and Dust. Generative AI – Elevate your data engineering career In this course, folks, you will dive into how Generative AI is changing the game for data engineers. You will learn how to harness generative models for a wide range of tasks like designing architectures, querying databases, building data warehouse schemas, enhancing data, creating data pipelines, managing ETL workflows, analyzing and mining data, and setting up data lake houses and repositories. And you will also tackle important concerns that come with using generative AI, like potential challenges and ethical considerations. And of course, it's not all theory, guys. One of the bad things about this specialization is that it focuses on hands-on learning, so you'll be actively applying your new skills to real-life scenarios. Throughout the specialization, you'll have the chances to practice what you have learned through engaging activities and projects. You'll dive into the world of generative AI, and explore its capabilities, such as generating text, images and code. You will also get to experiment with prompt engineering techniques and best practices, ensuring you get the most out of your generative AI tools. In addition, you will learn how to harness the power of generative AI to design efficient data workflows. By the end of these hands-on exercises, you will be confident in your ability to use generative AI to tackle real-world challenges and enhance your data engineering projects. Pricing and certification Alright, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And I totally understand. 
months of subscription sounds like a lot, but based on some feedback I've seen, some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Now let's talk about certification. When you successfully complete the entire certification program, you'll also get a career certificate. It can be a nice addition to your LinkedIn profile or CV. But let me be straight with you folks. In my opinion, the practical skills and knowledge you gain here are more valuable than the certificate itself. I'm sure you get what I'm saying. Employers are often more impressed by your professional knowledge and skills than the certificate you hold. Career opportunities. So as I'm sure many of you are wondering, does this program help you find a job? Well, I can say that potentially it does. This course teaches you some solid skills. That kind of knowledge can definitely boost your chances of finding a better paying job. On the other hand, it's not designed to prepare you for a job search. It's made to teach you some skills to add to your existing skill set. So guys, it's completely up to you if you want to use it as a stepping stone in your career or just a way to expand your knowledge. In any case, it's likely you will need to take some other courses and learning programs and do some interview preparation if landing a high paying position is your goal. Student reviews. Ok folks, time to look at some student reviews. Well, I can say that the majority of reviews for this course are pretty positive. But as with every course out there, there is praise and there are complaints. So let's start with positive reviews. The majority of students know that this course series is well structured and all the complex concepts are well explained. Here is one of the positive reviews I found, for example. This course is great, clear structure, good materials and well prepared labs. There is no time limitation on labs and you can redo the task for a different situation. Probably the best online course I have ever experienced. On the other hand, folks, I have seen some students noting that the course don't go too deep and that videos are not very useful. So keep all that in mind, folks. Is the generative AI for data engineers specialization worth it? So after looking at everything, is this specialization worth staking? Absolutely. If you are interested in diving into the world of generative AI and want to boost your skills, this course is a great choice. It's designed in a way that's approachable for beginners, but still offers a lot of depth for those who already have some experience. The hands-on projects and real-world applications make it not just a learning experience, but a practical one too. You will come out of it with the skills you can actually use in your job, which is a huge plus. Plus, the knowledge you gain will help you stay ahead in the field that's evolving fast. Alright, my friends, and that's all about my Generative AI for Data Engineer specialization review. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.